You have come up. Yeah. Well, I've walked in there as a member of the of uh, of uh, the party, as a member of the party because I'm a member of parliament on uh, for the Kenya ticket, and I was told to walk out. Yeah. So that's what you want to find out. Yeah. That 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 this guy was you. Yeah, he's coming here. Wangamati. Wangamati. Is meeting what? Ask me twice. Is a meeting I walked in as a member of the party? And then what happened? Yeah. And what happened? They yeah. pushed me out. Yeah. I have no issue with him. I have never had an issue with him. Why he chose to push me out, it seemed to know. Has the meeting been convened properly? No. If, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a member, of, if it's a neck, we should have taken seven days. I don't know that it took the place. I have no idea. Because we're having a meeting on Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you. Ford Kenya to deliberate on several issues which we've done. The agenda of today was the conduct of some senior members of the party and the direction of the party. Today, we discussed several charges that had been brought to bear on the party leader, Moses Masika Wetangula, and his function as the leader of this party. After a lot of deliberations, based on the constitution of the party, the parts that the party leader has violated were all brought out by the members present. And at the end of the deliberations, they also deliberated on the issue of the national organizing secretary of the party. And at the end of the deliberations, they made the following resolutions. The special neck meeting of today has made the following resolutions that the National Council, Executive Council, having held a special meeting in accordance with Clause 24B of the party constitution and having deliberated on the agenda for the said meeting, hereby resolves as follows. One, that the party leader, Honorable Moses Masika Wetangula, is hereby dismissed from the position of party leader on account of gross misconduct, moral impropriety, and violation of the party constitution. <clears throat> Two, that the Honorable Wafula Wamunyini shall assume the office and functions of the party leader on an interim basis. Two, that the National Organizing Secretary, Mandumandu, Chris Mandumandu, is hereby dismissed from the position of National Organizing Secretary on account of gross misconduct, moral impropriety, and violation of the party constitution. And Josephine Maungu shall assume the office and functions of the National Organizing Secretary on an interim basis. Thank you. I invite the party leader to carry on. Simba! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, uh, colleagues, uh, members, and His Excellency the Governor of Bungoma and the, the Deputy Chair of Fort Kenya, Honorable Luande. It is indeed uh, my pleasure this morning. Uh, this? Yeah, because I'm not
Yeah, first of all, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate members of the National Executive Council of uh, Ford Kenya for the decision they have um, arrived at uh, in bestowing upon me the position of interim party leader. And um, I want to assure colleagues and members of the party across the country that um, we're going to endeavor to work towards restoring the fight for which the ideals of this party were founded, that we'll work together during this period to unite members of the party, to strengthen support for the party across the country, to work with the, re uh, the rest of the leadership in Kenya to ensure equitable development of the entire country. I will be um, uh, doing my acceptance, formal acceptance, uh, a little later and I'll be issuing to the media. But I would like to say that um, Fort Kenya, as you are aware, uh, is one of the oldest party in the country, actually after Kanu. There is no other party older than Fort Kenya. And Fort Kenya has been known for fighting to, store, to restore multi-party democracy in this country. Uh, at the height of uh, political agitation in 1992, Fort Kenya was the party of great Kenyan leaders from across the country. The party housed great uh, minds, uh, great names such as Masinde Muliro, Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, Ochengo Neko, the father of our David Chair, Paul Muite, James Orengo, Martin Shkuku, Michael Kijana Omalwa, among many other notable figures. Sadly, over the recent past, uh, as you <clears throat> may be aware, the influence of our party has been waning. Once a national party of high repute, Fort Kenya has slowly been reducing itself uh, and its political operations and visibility to a handful of counties, as you are aware. And these are the issues that, you know, the leadership of the party should be addressing as we move forward to popularize the party in many counties in the country. And as I assume of this, on interim basis, I am aware of the weight of the challenge ahead. It is quite enormous, and um, I will be working with the colleagues, the leadership. As I said, we must unite as leaders of the party and members so that we move to realize our goals. We have the challenge of reinfending Ford Kenya that liberated this country in 1992. One that stood for democracy and one whose leaders were never afraid to take positions on matters uh, that affected Kenyans. We have the challenge of taking our party to marketplace of political ideology. We have the challenge of winning the trust of Kenyans as a party that dreamt up the form and shape of Kenya we live in today, after the second liberation. We have the challenge of attracting leaders who left the party because of poor leadership. We have the challenge of ensuring that that confidence that we had in those days is restored. This 
I will not achieve in the interim period alone, just like I've had your trust today, so shall your support as we open a new chapter. To all Kenyans of goodwill, here is your party. We are going to work for the entire country, for the entire membership, and ensure that the party moves forward. I want to uh, take this opportunity to welcome my governor of Bungoma and to thank him very much for having been with us and uh, playing a major role in ensuring that this NEC is successful. I thank you. Welcome, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I think today is a very momentous day for us as members of Fort Kenya. And I want to take this other opportunity to say congratulations to my new party leader, Mushmio Mnyinyi who is also my member of parliament back in Bungoma. Secondly, I want to say that as NEC, we have taken the decision. And it's not a light decision. It's a very heavy decision that we have taken as NEC. And for information, the NEC that is sitting here is almost 60 to 70% of the entire NEC members of Fort Kenya. So we have taken a decision <coughs> The resolutions read by the Secretary General of the party saying that from today we have dismissed the party leader of Ford Kenya, Senator Moses Masika Wetangula. Senator Moses Masika Wetangula has been the party leader for Ford Kenya for the last nine years. We wish him well. We want to tell him he did what he has to do for the nine years. But I think the NEC members have taken that decision and said we need a new party leader. And that new party leader is other than Mushmiwa Omunyinyi. Thirdly, as Mushmiwa Omunyinyi has mentioned, Ford Kenya has a very long history. As we speak, in this country, Ford Kenya has two Ford Kenya governors. That is the governor of Transoya and the governor of Bungoma, myself. The two governors are behind the decision that this National Executive Council has taken. Governor Haemba is on his way coming, but I can tell you he has been part and parcel of the decision that has been taken, and he has participated in many ways in ensuring that this meeting is done. Fourthly, we as a party, and I want to say this without any fear of contradiction, that there's a lot of realignment that is happening at the national level. There's a lot of reorganization that is happening, political reorganization that is happening at the national level. We as a party for the Kenya, we want to be part of that discussion that is happening at the national level. We as a party, we want to be part of the government in 2022. And that is why some of these decisions have been taken. That we don't want to be, late, we don't want to be left behind we want to be part of the government. And I want to say it very clear here that we are behind the, the handshake. <laughs> we are behind the handshake of Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga. We want to be part of that discussions. And I'm sure we have given the mandate to a new party leader that going forward, as the discussions and the conversation happen at the national level, that Ford Kenya is going to be part of that discussion. Otherwise, thank you. And I want to tell all members of Fort Kenya countrywide that the party, as we speak now, is in the same hands of the new party leader. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that all? Yeah, that is all. You have said, you have said it all. Ford Kenya. Simba, Simba, Simba. Usawa, Haki, na ukweli. Ford Kenya, Simba, 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 Musawa, Haki, na ukweli. Thank you very Thank much. You.
ambaye alipeleka sana kusema kwamba kwa huu wenu hawana nayo imani na kama wanaishinda uh, labda unaweza kusema kama mimi you know kwa Kiswahili Uliza uliza tayari kuna baadhi ya viongozi ambao wanakereka wakisema kwamba hawako kushusha hasa mbunge wa kwanza wana Bernard Manyonya baadhi kwa pale nje wakatimelewa kusema kwamba hawana acha tuachie pale ni ukiangalia hapa ukiangalia hapa uh, tuko na 60 mbaka 70% neck members from the entire country and you will have the freedom utakuwa na uh, ruhusa ukitaka kuangalia majina yote ya wale wamehudhuria na wametia kidole kuidhinisha mabadiliko utaweza kuyapata na sisi uh, wakati SG ameeleza mkutano huu Uh, umeitwa kama special neck special neck inakuwa convened under special circumstances na hata haipeani notice ni wale member wanafikiwa so long as iko quorum wale wanahitajika wana transact business ya neck uh, 